I've done a previous video on the fact that Barack Obama has been trained in the methods taught by Saul Alinsky. However, a lot of people have not seen that video or perhaps they didn't quite understand it. I'm sure just judging by a lot of the remarks that I've gotten in emails from people asking for explanations that there are many supporters of Barack Obama who simply do not really understand what he is all about. They have no idea what they are really supporting. We've heard in the news recently the term community organizer and we know that Barack Obama was a community organizer but just this morning I had someone asking me again what is a community organizer? The media in our country uses many euphemisms in other words nicer sounding terms than the original term when they are telling their stories and we've seen even politicians have used this term community organizer and I believe that they have made the mistake of thinking that most people understand what this term is and I think that that happens with most of us we move within certain circles and we have certain terms that we use within our circles and sometimes forget that those that live and work outside of the particular realm in which we are dealing don't really understand these terms and catchphrases. A community organizer is a euphemism for a radical activist. I came across this term a few months ago when I was doing a video about Barack Obama's mother and using that term now radical activist instead of community organizer perhaps you can better understand Barack Obama and how he could have sat in Reverend Wright's church for 20 years how he could sit in a church that gave Louis Farrakhan an award you can perhaps now understand how he could have a friendly relationship with William Ayers an unrepentant terrorist Barack Obama has spent years being a radical activist Barack Obama's first job as a radical activist was working with the Industrial Areas Foundation which is a training school for radical organizers and Obama actually spent several years working for them teaching others the method which was devised by Saul Alinsky back in the 30s. Saul Alinsky had moved to this country from Russia and he was working as a criminologist for a while but he came in contact with Frank Nitti, also Al Capone, and he learned from them the methods that organized crime used in Chicago. He learned many of the methods that were used by those that used to organize unions, and he devised his own method, incorporating theirs, and wrote a book about this, which was called Rules for Radicals, and he actually dedicated this book to Lucifer, the first radical, to a community organizer. That book is their Bible and you can see if you just browse through this book all the games Obama bots play personal attacks playing the race card trying to play the guilt trip trying to make people feel guilty about slavery when they had nothing to do with it calling people that don't agree with them stupid all these things come right out of Saul Alinsky's book and Barack Obama worked for several of the organizations that were founded by Saul Alinsky as I had just mentioned, the Industrial Areas Foundation, where he was trained and using this method. He did a four-year term as a community organizer working in Chicago for another group that was founded by Saul Alinsky followers, the Developing Communities Project. Later also, he worked for Project ACORN and Project Vote. All of these organizations were founded my followers of Saul Alinsky. ACORN and Project Vote, as you know, have been caught playing with the voter registration rules in nearly every major city across this country, registering dead people, registering people's pets, registering entirely fictitious people. Why? For the purpose of having other people go down and vote multiple times for a candidate that they are supporting. Barack Obama has spent hundreds of thousands of dollars supporting voter registration organizations such as ACORN prior to and all through his campaign. Another term which might give you a little opening too 
and I have to admit a, I was a little naive with this one when I was researching on that earlier video I mentioned of Barack Obama's mother I found that his mother's close friends kept referring to her as a fellow traveler but I could not find any details as to what this actually meant uh, having grown up in the 60s and having known that LSD was a very popular drug at the time and that LSD dealers were called travel agents I foolishly made the assumption that a fellow traveler must have been uh, someone that was using LSD taking trips well I couldn't have been further wrong I found out that the fellow traveler is another euphemism it means communist sympathizer so I was unable to find any details as to exactly what Obama's mother did along that line but her friends certainly understood and used the term so knowing these two things that Barack Obama is a radical activist and that his mother was a communist sympathizer it certainly gives you a better understanding about the chosen one thanks for listening